Hello everyone and welcome to Elegance on a Budget. Today we will be making a tabletop chandelier. Um, we will be actually using tape for the beads that we have. We're going to apply it with um, just like a scotch tape because we don't want it to be permanent. So if you would like to see how to make this particular chandelier, tabletop chandelier, just keep watching. Now, I'll be placing these on, and I'm just going to put it on with tape. If I was going to uh, keep this on, I would put it on with some type of wiring, but since I'm just taping it, I just want to give you an idea and to show you a quick, easy way to do it. Just to give you an idea on where I'm going with this, I just wanted to put it on with with the um, with the tape. And I'm just going in creases of the candle holder. And these are just simple candle holders. You could do this with just about any candle holder. Just get it and and make your little flower ball. So easy and so simple. Doing a wedding, though, you would, of course, you would uh, do it permanent. You, you could also get the hooks and you can glue it in, too. And you never have to worry about it moving. Is, you can pretty much do this with any type of candle but this is a candle holder you can also do the baby one candle holders any type of candle holder so you don't have to be a pro of just making this and this can always be a uh, be in a wedding decor to do that with this particular thing I'm just setting it here I wasn't gluing this together so. see how beautiful these are and you can make table centerpieces this would be even nice for a wedding table centerpiece with your little, uh, put your <clears throat> your small uh, uh, crystallized um, candles around it. Or you can just put your nice uh, two medium sized candles or four. One here, 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 since you pretty much is on a round table. So this right here would be really pretty and get your little red um, uh, flower buds and that's also pretty yeah, so now I'm just showing you on how you can really 
bling a table out and put your um, you two uh, or four or however small candle um, that you want. Also, you can put your little diamonds throughout your 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 um, rose. You know, just put like each diamond on each rose here, and that looks pretty around there. And also have the ones here, which are really pretty. So you can just bring it up or just leave it as is the way it is just play with it and also i have another um flower that i want to show you too that you can also do so you can see how that look and then yeah, led no. lights and i got them 50 percent off so i ended up paying um it was like three dollars for them so it's four in a pack that comes so what you do this is off so this is on here so it stayed lit at all times. So what you could do at nighttime at your wedding or, or whether daytime. I could have made it fuller, which I probably would, but I'm not going to be keeping, uh, keeping it like this. So I just wanted to show you. you. You can make this fuller, though, all the way. And then what you want to do is get your light, and you would do a hole in there. And this is how you get, uh, get it to be lit. And you just get it and make it fit into that little hole like that. And there you have your light. And then you could set it in here. And put it here. Yeah, more like have a blue tint or something to them, but they, they come clear also. But those are nice too, uh, if, if you put your candles in there.